Hey there YouTubers, so just an update on a video I did a short while ago about uh, YouTube on a PowerPC Macintosh. Uh, I've got a bit of an update. Um, a commenter in the last video uh, suggested updating the, uh, the webkit uh, on Leopard and to my surprise it worked very nicely. Um, I'm able to load up a few extra websites, everything is somewhat smoother than it was before. Um, don't get me wrong, uh, PowerPC, it, compared to today, it's still slow, um, but I've got features that weren't there before, and it's just a bit more convenient. Sometimes it's nice to load up a quick uh, tutorial video if I need it on this machine, if I'm using the other machines. So, uh, yeah, so basically, to get uh, the WebKit updated, I'll leave a link in the description for starters. Uh, you download the latest version of the WebKit and you open it and inside will be a application uh, of course read the readme file um, but basically copy this application to the applications folder or wherever you may store your applications um, if you have any web browser that uh, you'd like to update on its own um, you can drag the application into or onto this little uh, droplet, drop, droplet app, yeah, and it will update that application uh, on its own with the latest WebKit files, uh, and it will leave a copy of that uh, application. It will make a copy of it um, with WK at the end, which is for WebKit, and then you can use that version with the latest WebKit installed. Uh, you will need to enable advanced features. This is for stuff like the, uh, like on YouTube, for example, the uh, the chat box. Uh, wouldn't show up unless I had this enabled. Uh, you will need to update the system certificate so you don't get any security warnings. Uh, I didn't touch this, uh, I'm not really too sure what that's for. Uh, and there's an option to revert that if you do disable it. Um, top site rendering is for Safari, the uh, little windows that uh, come up in the latest versions of Safari, you can turn that off because uh, that takes up processing power. Uh, you can turn off the advanced features if you ever feel the need to and you can also uh, turn the top site rendering back on if need be. So, I've got the Rocat browser here, suggested by a commenter in the other video, thanks for that. Um, and it's been updated as well with the uh, WebKit and I have YouTube here. Uh, so I've got a live video just paused for a minute and uh, as you can see the chat works. If it'll show it. Oh, I've hidden it now. It probably won't show. Oh, here we go. The chat works nicely. I need to sign in to use it though. Um, the video plays. That's using Flash Player 10. Uh, let's see if I can find a video that uses HTML5. Uh, that would be nice. But yeah, as you'll see, it's it's not. Um, it's not the quickest. It works, but uh, don't um, you know? Don't don't expect any. Don't expect a smooth experience uh, at all. Uh, just just trying to scroll is a uh, is effort. Um, uh, let's see. Anything will do, really. Um, oh, they're all live videos. I don't want live. And you will okay. Atone. Okay, I don't know what that was, but okay, this should be. This is HTML5. So if I set the quality. So that was relatively smooth, as you see there was a bit of stutter in there, even at 360p, so that gives you a rough idea of uh, how this is going to work. But yeah, so that was just a quick update, I uh, hope that's useful, I still need to try Netflix, um, so I'll do another video update if that works also. Thanks for watching.